Hi there, I'm Bonnie McCaffrey, and thank you so much for coming back this month for another vidcast. I'm here with Vicki and Lisa, and there's this really wonderful exhibit that they're going to tell us about. So, um, Vicki, what exactly is this exhibit about? Okay, the name of this exhibit is Healing Quilts in Medicine. And this exhibit is the brainchild of Lisa Ellis. And she has put her wonderful passion in it. And these quilts explore the different plants and animals that have compounds that are used to treat uh, different types of cancer in chemotherapy drugs. So this is a, an exhibit that's underneath of another? Absolutely. Uh, this is under the umbrella of Sacred Threads. And what is Sacred Threads exactly, for okay. those that don't know? Sacred Threads was a quilt exhibition that was founded in 1999. I was the founder. Um, originally we were out of Columbus, Ohio, but at that time, uh, in 1999, 2000, around there, there only were a couple of kinds of exhibits and nothing of this kind. Uh, either exhibits looked at the um, uh, the craftsmanship. Uh, craftsmanship or the um, uh, art forms, but nothing looked at the emotional, spiritual part of quilt making that all quilters put into their work. Yeah. And we felt that that was definitely lacking. So we started the first show with um, different categories of joy, spirituality, inspiration, healing, grief, Perfect. and peace. Wow. And as important as the quilts was the story behind them. Why did the quilts exist? Why are they here? Why were they made? Yeah, yeah. And so Lisa has taken that and you've curated this exhibit? Right, so when Vicki retired after the 2009 show, I took it over and brought it to Washington, D.C. And we had already been doing the Healing Quilts and Medicine projects, but I brought it under Sacred Threads because it's all the same. It's us as quilt makers using our passion for quilting to make the world a better place. Wow. Whether it's healing in hospitals or having healing-based quilts that are in exhibits for people to come and see, yeah. it, it's all related. And so it made sense to just right. to bring it all into the same organization. Well, let's go take a look. Okay. So this is the quilt of the Pacific yew tree, and the bark uh, of this tree is used to make the drug Taxol, which many women have had in uh, chemotherapy for breast cancer. Oh, wow. And so this is one of the most recognizable quilts. A lot of people have had Taxol. So some of the other plants that we're going to look at, some of the other quilts, the drugs are not as well known, but this is probably the one that most people have heard of. Okay. So, Lisa, this is one that particularly uh, drew me in. It's just really interesting to look at. What is this plant? So this plant is the Thunder God Vine, and it is showing promise in treating lymphoma and leukemia. Wow. It's made by Judy Busby in Fairfax, Virginia, and a lot of people at the quilt show have been drawn to it because of the beautiful red and green leaves, and lots of people want to know how she got the little white squares on yes. this. It's built into the fabric. Wow. It's a great design. Sometimes you just buy a great fabric. Absolutely. So this little bl blue frog, what's that got to do with healing? So that is a poison dart frog. And a the, poison? A poison. And the poison is actually showing promise in treating brain cancer. One of the greatest things about this quilt, if you look closely, is you can actually see the molecule is quilted in. Oh so the scientific gosh. properties are quilted right into the lily pad. That's like perfect. Yeah. So this is a really soft, beautiful quilt. Can you tell me about this one, Vicki? Yes, this one was made, and it's a perf It's by Sandy Goldman. It was the perfect quilt, not only to represent healing quilts in medicine, but also sacred threads. It's the inspirational healing quilt, and the encouraging words are going to hopefully comfort and heal those who see it. And some of the words are breathe, heal, fight, um, trust, courage, strength. It's just a beautiful quilt to heal people. It really is. So words could be healing as well. Absolutely. Not only the visual, the softness, and the tactile to bring you in, but also the words as well. Yeah. All right, so here's some more pretty flowers. What is this one? So this is the rosy periwinkle, which is used to treat leukemia and lymphoma. And what's particularly special about this one is that the artist that made it, Bunny Jordan's son, had Hodgkin's lymphoma when he was 16. And this is the drug that cured him. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, and it's a beautiful piece. It is. Under the sea, this is a fabulous piece. People do not realize that the sea slug has chemical properties that are being used to treat cancer. And so, and you have to kind of look close to find the sea slug in this little piece. He's down here. There he is. There he is. Plants, oh, plants and animals are very effective in treating cancer. 
You know, that's actually pretty fascinating to me because, you know, we don't realize that all the plants and animals around us could actually do something to help us. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. Good. All right, so I particularly like this one. Could you tell me what this one is? This is also the Pacific U. Okay. Again, it is the drug, um, it's used to make the drug Taxol. What I love about quilt making is how you can give two artists the same plant, the Pacific U, and they come up with totally different pieces. Absolutely. Same plant, two totally different quilts. Yeah. Here is a lovely path into the woods. Right, and you know what's beautiful about this piece is what we want in a hospital setting is for people to have a calm experience. And I think this quilt really embodies nature and just thinking about being in the outdoors. This particular quilt is based on the purple meadow rue, which is being researched for ovarian cancer. Wow. So you mentioned hospital setting. Where will all of these end up? Right, so these 21 quilts were commissioned by the National Institutes of Health and in Bethesda, Maryland, and they were there for a year. And then there is a hospital that is building a brand new cancer center. It's outside Washington, D.C., called Fair Oaks Hospital. It's in Fairfax, Virginia. And their cancer center is being un it's under construction now. It'll be finished in 2014. And all of these quilts will be framed, and they'll be in treatment rooms, patient rooms, waiting areas. Wow. And the whole goal is just to try to create a beautiful environment for patients and their families going through difficult times. That is wonderful. So this is actually a plant that's fairly well known to people. It is the indigo. And I think we all know that indigo is often used for dying, but people don't also know that it is used in cancer treatments. So wow. it does have a chemical compound that can be used in chemotherapies. Who knew? Who knew? Okay, Vicki, I just love this quilt. I mean, yellow and blue is great, but what is the plant that's in here? This is Dyer's Woad. This is a beautiful quilt, one of the most popular in the exhibition as well. And it, the compounds from this plant are used for chemotherapy, especially to treat leukemia and brain cancer. Amazing. Absolutely. You know, who would think that, uh, that plants and animals would be where we would find treatment? It, absolutely. We are so blessed to have so many uh, wonderful plants that help us heal. Yeah. What a great exhibit. So, Lisa, where are all of these qu quilts going to end up? These 21 quilts will end up at Fair Oaks Hospital, Fairfax, Virginia, right outside Washington, D.C. Cancer Center is under development right now. will be finished in 2014. They'll be in treatment rooms, waiting areas, and patient rooms. Well, that'll be, like, absolutely yeah. perfect. So yeah. the quilts themselves will be a healing thing exactly. to the people that are Art, there. Beautiful artwork. It has an educational component. It's perfect. Yep. It's Thank you so much yes, for doing this you. with me and uh, telling us about the quilts. Thank, thank you, Barbie. You. And thank you all for coming. I hope you'll come back next month to see what I have for you then. Thanks for being with me.